All right, Chris, here's the next one. You are a real estate agent representing a buyer who is interested in purchasing a property that is currently occupied by tenants with the lease agreement. The buyer intends to remodel the property after the lease expires, but the tenants are resistant to vacating. How do you navigate the situation and ensure the buyer's interests are protected? Number one is to be honest and straightforward and give them what the facts are. Because uh, number one, a lease survives any type of closing. If I close on a property and there's a, a lease in place and a tenant in the home, I have to abide by that. So I'm going to want to see that lease and, and know what we're talking about. I don't know how somehow they must have found out that the tenants resisted from leaving. I'm not sure how they got that information, but I mean, that's an important factor. You know, if this, if this tenant, now it depends also who the tenant is, but if this tenant's resistant on, on leaving, that is going to ensue a fight or a court order. It's called the eviction notice. So you don't have to rent it to them. Uh, during COVID, that was a different story. They weren't letting you kick anyone out. But um, in this case, once that lease is done, they would have to vacate the property. Otherwise, you could take a court order to be able to get them out of there. More than likely, you're not going to have a problem uh, winning that. But what I would do, I would find out what that tenant's like, who they are. Have they been evicted before? Because if they've been evicted before, they more than likely know what the heck they're doing and they'll try to be able to do things to be able to extend their stay at the home. And if that's the case, now it's just a risk versus reward. Do you, do you want the property? Do you want to maybe ask the seller to hold some money in escrow that's going to make sure that if those buyers don't hit the road, that you're going to be covered in the cost. So it might be $2,500 of rent and you might have a two month layover. So you might ask that seller that they'll pay up to $5,000 if uh, the tenant doesn't vacate after their lease, whatever, a way in which to protect yourself. But I think the other thing is they added a little fun thing on the end is that they want to remodel it. Well, typically when you're remodeling, you're probably getting all those subs and everything ready to be able to go in at the exact time that those tenants are, are leaving. So that could pose a little problem with contracts that you've done with a, a contractor to go in and timing. And if you don't get them in on time, that might uh, extend longer too. So I think a lot of times on these is that you've got to know the information, have the experience to be able to tell them everything that could happen to them. Then ultimately they make that decision. It's, it's their decision to make. It's our duty and our job to give them the information to make an informed decision.